Hi all, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be covering how to convert like an application from Rails using Devise to an application using uh, Rails, Devise, Amioth, and Okta as the identity provider. So right here, you can actually see I have an application uh, actually using uh, Devise right now. So if I do, and if I actually log in here. You can see I signed in successfully. Now, let's actually uh, go into the history and actually clear all that browsing data. Okay, awesome. We're back. We're back here. So today, what we're actually going to focus on is how to convert this application that's solely using a device to actually use Okta as the identity provider. So we'll do that within these 10 minutes. But let's do this from scratch. Well, first, we're going to use a couple of gems that I want to use for this project. So one of them is actually uh, the, Omnioth, the Omnioth gem that allows us to talk to Okta through OAuth just a simple strategy for OmniAuthor Active Record Session Store. We're going to be putting some stuff in the session about the user's context and information coming from Okta. So we're going to extend that with the Active Record Session Store, really useful gem, and then Figaro to handle anything with my environment and variables. So let's do a uh, bundle install here. Okay, awesome. Now. The next step is we're going to run a couple commands here. Um, one, let's get that free, that application YAML running, and let's also um, generate uh, that session here. And then we're also going to add some uh, properties or attributes to our user uh, from Amioth or rather what Omniauthor requires. Okay, perfect. Now, one thing before running DB migrate, uh, it's gonna, one migration is gonna complain because it's going to say we didn't specify the version. So I'm actually gonna go to that sessions table. I'm actually gonna add 5.2. So let's actually run that migration. Okay, nice. So next, we're going to actually uh, create a controller to actually manage our sessions. So here we'll generate the sessions controller. And you know, uh, this session uh, gem just sort of expects that. Now we actually have to create the Amioth callback controller. So this is what's going to handle uh, the callback with Omnioth here. So this structure is going to actually have a users folder. And then here we can put um, our uh, Omnioth. I'll make sure I don't get the naming convention wrong here. Looks right to me. Yep, looking good. And we're, now we're actually going to create that controller logic here. And I'll sort of explain what this function does. So, what this function is basically uh, what this controller and then uh, this method here is doing is actually saying like, hey, uh, can we create a user from the information we're getting from Amioth, i.e. Okta? And when we do that, let's actually set a session with uh, the Okta state here. 
And then let's redirect back to uh, that root path. Now, one thing you'll probably notice is that we're calling a method for uh, the user. So we probably have to create a method in that user model. So let's go ahead and do that. And you know what? We're gonna rely on Okta for this, so we don't need all this stuff. Instead, I got we just need to say like, hey, this user is omniothable, and that omnioth provider is actually Okta. So here we're all set. And then also we this this method's actually pretty important. This is actually how we're gonna create uh, the actual user. So you can see, um, I'm just gonna actually reformat this. Lines auto indent. Here we're gonna say, um, you know, we're gonna create this user. It provided the provider information, that UID, and then also the email, right? So the next thing is like, let's actually make sure that this user like all the routes are provided. So if we actually go into routes RB, we just need, uh, we're actually gonna modify this, device for users, controllers, perfect. Pointing, everything's pointing towards each other. And then here, we're actually just gonna provide a little helper methods to our actual action uh, application controller here. So let's get that. Let's just make sure uh, everything's all intended and we're not having any unexpected. Okay. And instead of using this action, we're actually gonna now use is the user logged in. which basically says, hey, is there an Okta state here? So if we actually do this, um, the main thing we're gonna protect here is sort of this uh, same post controller here. So is the user logged in? This is looking pretty good here. Um, now we just have to provide our actual information. So. Here uh, is my information from Okta. If you have a question on where to get that information, there's uh, some stuff on the GitHub and also a lot on developer.okta.com, how to generate this information. By the way, I uh, usually don't share your secret, but I'm actually gonna delete the integration later on, so this is fine to show. Um, now, next and hopefully finally, we'll just have to configure um, device here so if i go in towards the device initializer here we'll just place this guy here as well as a require and remember when i said actually a last step there's actually one more because i remember we're actually using um that gem. Session store. So this is actually um, an important one. So if you actually go to uh, shoot, let's see. If you actually go to uh, active record session store, and this is just proof that this is live coding, right? There's actually one line we actually add to that initialization. It's actually just this one right here. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Um, and I think actually we got a Let's actually uh, do Rails S here. Let's see what we got. Uh, 
Okay, looking good. Looks like it actually uh, redirects us back to Opta. Should I log in here? Okay, it, it's looking pretty good here. But, you know, just to check, the main thing is to make sure the user was actually created. Um, you know, into the database here, the active record. So let's take a look here. Let's do user dot all. And you can see right here, provider is opto OAuth user two. And that is looking good. So, yep, that is uh, the video here. I uh, hope hopefully you enjoyed it.